Hi, I'm Paris, and the sound you're hearing right now is the way our video sounded back when we started doing YouTube several years ago. It's the microphone built right into the camcorder, and pretty much universally, people didn't care for that sound too much. So, in the time since, I have gone through several other microphones trying to find something that would please everyone. Epic review, guys. And I can tell you, that's not going to happen. But if you're new to YouTubing and you're thinking the camera is really the only thing you have to worry about, it's not true. You'll have a sound depending on the, the camera microphone you use and where you do your videos here in this room with the wall here, the one behind, the flat ceiling. It creates a certain kind of echo that became known as our sound. And so even when we upgraded to better microphones, we still had some resistance from people who didn't like it because it didn't sound like us anymore. So before it's too late and a sound picks you, you might want to pick a sound that you like for your channel. I'm going to go through the various microphones we have here and give you an audio sample so you can decide which sort of sound you're looking for and decide some of these involve more work doing the audio because it's going to be on a separate track, whether it's worth it or not for you, and also some special situations where you might want to have a zoom microphone attached to the camera where you might want to have binaural audio and where you might want to have a lapel microphone so you have the microphone right next to the mouth of the person talking. And then there's the Yeti microphone, which I really like, but I found it's hard not to look a little pretentious sitting at a table in front of this microphone. It is, however, very good for voiceover work or if you're going to read things or read stories. It gives a very nice sound and nobody sees you looking pretentious. So to take you along in the order that I went through these microphones and tried these different sounds out, what you're hearing me on right now is our $2,000 4K camcorder, which a number of people have said, the image is so sharp, but the audio is so terrible. It's just that they don't have a good place to put the microphone when it's built into the camcorder, and it really seems to pick up the echoiness of the room. So people complained about that went and spent $100 for this microphone. And I'll link to each of these below this video if you'd like to check them out. This is from Sony. It's got a little, what they call dead cat on, the, on it. But it is a directional microphone with left and right. And you can angle them if you want to pick up sound from different places. But I usually have it aimed straight ahead, mounted on top of the camera and pointing right at me so my voice goes right to it. The problem is that as my voice is going to the microphone, it's also bouncing off the wall and going to the microphone and bouncing off the ceiling a little bit later and coming to the microphone. So there's a, I would call it an, I would call it an echoey sound. It's much better than the sound you're listening to right now, I think, and we use this for most of the life of our channels, but there are better things available, but take a listen to this. Here's what the Sony directional microphone sounds like. It seems to be a little louder. I can look on the screen while I can see the little uh, volume things moving. And I, th I think it just plain picks up more sound than the built-in microphone, which is actually located just behind and on top of the lens, so it doesn't even point towards me. This microphone is good when you're picking up sound from one specific source, and normally that's where you're pointing the camera. So the fact that it's mounted on top of the camera and points where the lens goes, helps you out. If you want to point it right towards a person, like is happening here, you should capture my sound really well. And you would notice that more outdoors, where there isn't this um, bouncing sound that's happening in here. Outdoors, with the built-in camera, it really has a hard time knowing what sound to grab. It picks up the birds and the cars and the airplanes and everything equally, whereas this one is going to focus more specifically on my voice. So. If you do a lot of filming outside, a directional microphone can be a big step up from the one built in the camcorder. A big plus to this attached microphone is that the audio it captures is recorded right in sync with the video that you're seeing. So when you edit your video, you don't have to do anything extra. It's all lined up correctly, which is the same with the built-in microphone of the camera. When you move to some of these other microphones, the audio track gets recorded somewhere else, and then you've got to bring that in to your video editing software, line up the little peaks and troughs with whatever the camera has natively recorded, and then tell the program, use this audio track, it gets to be a lot more involved. This one is very simple. The downside is you're still hearing that echo because the microphone is way over there and there's no way my voice can get over there without it bouncing off the walls. 
And here's the Yeti microphone. I haven't switched to the sound from this one yet. I will in just a moment. This one goes for about $150. And I have a cable right here taking the sound from the microphone, gets recorded on the computer. And then I take that and put it on my other computer to do the video editing. Here's what the Yeti sounds like. Hello, I think I sound like a professional DJ now. At least that's what I thought when I first started using this microphone. I thought it was a really great sound, but um, I think more than half of the people who listen to our channel agreed that it sounded better, but some people really, really didn't like this sound because there wasn't any echo. It sounded, I don't know, too up close, personal, in your ear, something like that. In any case, I would say it's a different sound for different applications. Not that it's necessarily a better sound because a lot of people didn't feel that it was. A couple other things about the Yeti microphone include the fact that if you tend to have your elbows on the table, <laughs> even small sounds, they tend to come right up through this microphone. So I always had to put a blanket here to rest my elbows on and to rest the microphone on. The other thing is if you talk with your hands or if you're trying to show something, describe something, it's in the middle of what you're trying to do. Now you can get real fancy. If you want to get really pretentious, you can mount something to the wall with one of those um, articulating arms and have the microphone here. You really feel like you're back counting down this week's top 40 hits. So where's the microphone now? Well, actually the microphones are in my ears. This is binaural audio recording, which lets you record the sound as though you're really there because there's a head in the middle of it and the left and right channel are very distinctive. Now, this is the microphone headset. This is one piece. And then this is the portable audio recorder that I needed to get this to work. So all together about $200 for these two components together works really well and does some amazing things in the right application. Here in the video though, um, one issue I had is that because when I wear it, which seemed like the natural thing to do, the sides were always reversed. So if I knock over here, that should sound like it's coming from the other side for you. So it's, I would always have to remember to switch my audio channels in the software whenever I was using this until I got the idea to invite a friend. And here's my friend doing double duty, both as a Halloween decoration, which we'll need to put out in the front yard soon, and as my head space for these binaural audio microphones. So I would take them and tape them on here. And then I would turn this around, have it facing me just out of camera view so that the left and right channel was correct. And it would sound like you were sitting right across from me. Right now, it should sound like I'm right behind you talking in your ear. The last microphone I have to share with you is hopefully the last microphone I will have to buy, and it is located right here. It doesn't have to be here, it has a clip. And this is the microphone, you can't hear me now, and now you can hear me much better. It just clips onto your clothing. If you watch people on TV being interviewed, they often have a little mic like this clipped onto them. The Professional people on TV, they'll have those wireless microphones with a little walkie-talkie deal with the antenna strapped to them somewhere. But this is wired. It's got like a 20-foot cable, goes all the way over to the camera, plugs into the audio in jack, and it works perfectly fine. It records the audio there. So again, it's simple because everything I need is in that one SD card that I switch over to my computer to work on editing the video. This one is powered. Little hearing aid battery fits in this portion, which also has a clip. You can clip it onto your belt or clip it onto your um, pocket. And you do have to remember to switch it to off when you're not using it or it will drain the battery. And I normally now run this wire up inside my shirt and take this little piece, switch it on and just stick it in my pocket and I'm ready to go. Now this is not the best sound. This is less than $20. This is less expensive by far than these other microphones, but it's right near my mouth, so it doesn't have to work so hard like the microphone over there on the camcorder. And it doesn't have to worry about recording binaural audio. It doesn't have to worry about making you sound like a DJ. It's just near my mouth, so the sound gets to this microphone and gets sent to the camera before I get much in the way of bounce back from the walls. So that clears up a lot of that echoey issue that I think a lot of people complained about with our channel. And yet it doesn't have that DJ sound that people didn't like. So I've pretty much decided that when it's uh, just me here alone at the table doing a video, I'm going to use this microphone. I have tried it with somebody else. It doesn't work very well. It won't pick up their voice nearly as well as mine. So we'd either need to each be wearing them, but that's when I go back to that little directional microphone that I put on top of the camera. 
Now I haven't retired any of these microphones. They all still have their place where I'll use them with storytelling, with um, 360 videos. The binaural audio goes real interestingly with that. But if you're starting out with YouTube or making videos, the one thing you could spend 20 bucks on to really improve the quality of your videos isn't the camera, isn't lenses, isn't filters. It would actually be a microphone like this or this specific one, which I think is really good. And again, I'll link to all of these down below this video. You can keep checking back for future videos and find out what they sound like, or you can click that subscribe button down below and get notified when our videos go up. See you on the next review. What does the fox buy? Nobody knows, but before he goes shopping, he watches our videos.